Hey Sarah, what are you still doing here so late? It's nearly midnight. Oh, hey John. I'm just trying to catch up on this pile of work. It seems like it's never ending. What about you? I didn't expect to see anyone else here at this hour. Yeah, I had a few things to finish up too. But seeing you here this late makes me wonder if everything's alright. You seems very tired. Are you okay? Honestly, I'm not. The workload has been insane lately, and I feel I'm drowning. Every time I finish one task, three more pop up. I hear you. It seems like the projects have been ramping up lately. Have you spoken to our manager about it? I did. But all I got was a pat on the back, and a hang in there. It's frustrating. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. That's rough. Have you thought about delegating some of your tasks to other team members? I wish I could, but everyone else seems to be just as swamped. Plus, I feel guilty asking for help when everyone is already overloaded. It's definitely a tough situation. Maybe we should consider bringing it up collectively, in the next team meeting. Strength in numbers, you know? That might be a good idea. It's just hard to find the right balance, between sounding like we're complaining and genuinely needing help. True. But if we don't speak up, nothing will change. How long have you been stuck in this cycle? It's been a few months now. It started gradually, but now it feels like I'm working 24-7 just to stay afloat. That sounds exhausting. Are you at least able to take some breaks, and unwind a bit? Barely. I grab a quick coffee here and there, but most of my time is spent glued to screen. It's starting to affect my health and personal life. That's not sustainable. You need to find a way to balance it out, or you'll burn out completely. I know. It's just hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel right now. Have you been feeling the same way? To some extent. Yes, but I've been trying to set clearer boundaries. I make sure to unplug after a certain hour, no matter what. That sounds like a good strategy. I might try that, but I'm worried about falling even further behind. It's a risk, but your health is more important. Maybe start with small steps, like taking a proper lunch break. That's a good idea. I haven't had a proper lunch break in ages. It could help me recharge a bit. Exactly. Small changes can make a big difference. Also, have you looked into any time management tools or techniques? I have, but it's hard to implement them when I'm constantly bombarded with urgent tasks. Any recommendation? I've been using the Pomodoro technique. It breaks work into intervals, usually 25 minutes, with short breaks in between. It helps me stay focused and prevents burnout. That sounds interesting. I'll give it a try. It might help me feel more in control of my time. Definitely worth a shot. And don't forget to prioritize your tasks. Not everything needs to be done immediately. That's true. I tend to get caught up in the urgency of everything. I need to start prioritizing better. It's a common trap. Just remember, not everything is a fire that needs to be put out immediately. Thanks for the advice John. I really appreciate it. Sometimes it just helps to talk things through. Anytime Sarah. We're all in this together. If you ever need a vent or need a hand, just let me know. I will. Thanks again. It feels a bit less overwhelming, knowing I'm not alone in this. You're definitely not alone. And hey, maybe we can grab a coffee outside the office sometime. Just to unwind and chat. That sounds great. I could use a break from this place. Maybe next week? Absolutely. Let's set a date. In the meantime, try to get some rest tonight. You deserve it. I will. Thanks, John. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Sarah. Hang in there. Good night. Good night.